All right, so we're going to jump right in Photoshop here. and Well, we already in Photoshop. But uh, so, so typically what I would do is actually take this and I would do Command J and I'm actually going to duplicate. And like I said, I got a lot going on right now. So y'all forget my computer. All right. So I'm going to duplicate that. And I already have a starting point. All right. I already have a starting point. So literally, this is kind of like a template. So literally what I would do is just go in, change the picture, change the text, all of that information, all right? So what I'm gonna do for you, let's not do that Well, Let's start from scratch, all right? So I have a black layer, all right? So first thing I'm gonna do is, um, Let's generate some text, start white, and I'm actually going to use Gilroy. I'm gonna use extra bold. We're gonna start off, make that at least 72. All right, and so in my last thumbnail, that was over to the left, so I'm gonna switch it up and let's go to the right. So I'm gonna do a right um, justification alignment. Um, and let's just say, yeah, all right. So then I'm just going to duplicate that. So command J thumbnail, and then let's just say, um, actually say uh, thumbnails all right all right so that's already looking bigger than what I want it to look so let's bring this down probably to about 60 let's bring it better down to about 60 as well all right, and then as far as, I'm gonna tighten that up just a hair better. All right, and y'all gonna have to forgive me because like I've done like um, editing videos in Lightroom. This is actually the first time I'm actually doing a video specifically in Photoshop whatever so already you see better thumbnails that's gonna be the whole I don't I don't know that that title you know it's not necessarily a title it's just I, the last one I said better content this one we said better thumbnails whatever I don't know so a simple way as far as what I would do I could literally just go in here so you see where I said better I really could just grab this all right I could just grab this go to copy the layer style and then go down to better and paste that layer style you see how that works all right but i want to show you how i actually did it so let's undo that so pretty much double click on the layer all right and it's going to bring up your layer style so we have the gradient overlay, which is already in there. I click on gradient overlay. Um, and then mine is on reverse right now, just because that's the way I wanted it in there. You know, but we can leave it like that. All right. And so what you would want to do, I'll double click on this. And then, you know, you have your presets folders for all of that, but then this is going to be based on the last two colors that you chose. All right. So I can actually double click on this. And if I wanted to change this to like green, I could change it to green. You know what I'm saying? If I want to change it, the blue, I could change it to blue. All right, that's gonna be for that side. Same thing over here. If I wanted to change this from yellow to green, bam, same thing. Shout out to the AKAs. If you wanted to do some pink and green, y'all could do that. All right, but we're not doing that today. All right, and so then on top of that, I'm gonna add a drop shadow. You're not really gonna be able to see it right now because the background is black. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of outer glow. So you can see how you get some of that separation, all right? So then what, since I've already done that, the better, I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, copy layer style. I'm saying right click because I'm using the mouse. I'm working on the Mac. So for y'all, um, 
I'm assuming it would be control or alt. Again, don't get me the line. I'm just gonna paste it, all right? And then I'm actually gonna go in, double click, go down to gradient overlay, and I'm gonna reverse it just so it's going the opposite direction. So already we kind of have, you know what I'm saying, an outline of what we wanna do. But for this to make sense, um, we really just want to, we want to take a picture. We want to take a picture. We want to take a picture. So what would I use for imagery if I wanted to say better thumbnails? So I'm not advising you to do this, but just for the purpose of this video. And this is not something I'm advising you to do. What I would actually do is come in YouTube. And do something like take a screenshot. All right, let's go back to Photoshop. I'm going to come in here over the layer. I'm going to grab the screenshot I just took. I'm going to drag that on. I'm going to place that. And then I'm going to size it up. All right, bam. Okay. Then I don't want this. So now we, we have competing priorities and this is why I see a lot of people make a mistake as far as with the thumbnail, with the text, and then the picture. This is distracting, because you got a thousand different things going on in the background. So what I'm going to do, me personally, I'm gonna make it black and white, so you see already how that looks different. And then I'm gonna just change the opacity on it. All right, because we already got a black layer underneath, that's why I always start with black, because I don't like things getting lighter, I like them to get darker. All right, and I changed the opacity down to about 40% or whatever, all right? So then I'm gonna go back up here. We already got uh, white text selected. And let's switch this up. The other font I use is um, San Diego. And that actually should be right. Justification, that's why I showing like that. Um, so we say something like create. So I would say, uh, create, or we could use the word design because as a keyword, create kind of gets lost in YouTube. So when we start talking design and again, I don't want this competing with my main subject, the better thumbnails. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to drop this down to about 36. Or I could ask the question, want a design? All right, and we'll and we'll get this set up as far as what layout, I'll play around with that later. All right, do y'all know? I'm gonna copy that, drag this down in 2021. There's my question mark. All right. So let's kind of play around with this. We got thumbnails. And this is where you really just kind of have fun, where you can kind of play around with positioning or whatever. Now, again, I want thumbnails to be the subject, so it's probably gonna go over better. Again, what's the priority? That's the thing you want people to see first. And as far as better, I might actually do something like just do a single cover overlay, color overlay. No, I don't like that. So let's just keep it like it was. <laughs> yeah. All right. So better thumbnails. All right. 
we just slide that underneath just a little bit. Then we got the one of design. And I really could just go in and align all of this, but it's not that serious. So I don't like the way this is going over the B. This is just me in particular. So what I'm probably gonna do, I'm pressing all kind of buttons. And again, like I said, I'm asking y'all to forgive me as far as if I'm skipping over some things, because I really just want to show you this. I really just want to show you this. All right. So I like that a whole lot better. Want to design better thumbnails in Twenty twenty one. All right, and that's pretty much that's pretty much it. So what I would do, I would take this, I would then group it. I would say text, command T, and then I can kind of resize it or reposition it how I want it. And ladies and gentlemen, we actually could be done. Like I could leave this just like this but of course i'm me so i gotta make sure that my logo is in there so remember we're gonna we're gonna jump sides all right so instead of it being over the right it's gonna be over to the left and I kind of like this black and white thing. I think this is dope. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to go download some random picture. Um, I really was just able to grab something. Somebody can really kind of tell quickly. Hey, that's um, that's that's uh, YouTube. <laughs> I'm in the background. And then let's see here. What else do we got to do? I got to add my supporting text. So like to help me um, help you create better content. All right. So what I would do here, let me get rid of all this other stuff. Cause like I said, I didn't necessarily start from scratch, but uh, that's always a good thing to do. And I'm inside of text. All right, and we have a rounded rectangle. Y'all please forget my phone. All right, so again, normally this is something I would just copy. All right. But remember, let's go back to the text. Take the same thing, right click, copy layer style, go down. Paste layer style, bam. So we got that same gradient. And remember, I want things to be symmetrical. So let's take this text, let's push it up some because now we have that text down at the bottom. Rectangle, we're gonna grab some text. Of course, this needs to be a lot smaller. Um, so we say like 18, that's still probably gonna be too big. Not just about right. Um, how to design thumbnails in Photoshop. And that's probably way too long of a title, but I mean, it'll work. And I wanna make that a little bit smaller. So let's take that down to like 14 and let's do 16. All right, let's get that bot right there. 
and then we're going to extend out and ladies and gentlemen we are done that's the thumbnail now if i want to go in here do something crazy like you know put a gradient on this so this is kind of dark behind this um we can do that now normally i do do that you can kind of see there are fades there are gradients or whatever i love using gradients so like say the um the clubhouse one you see how it gets dark over here um we can do that if i wanted to but there's not really a competition um you know dynamically as far as what's going on and so but i will show you what i would do so for those of you again inside of photoshop i'm just going to create a mask layer i'm going to go over here and grab my gradient tool all right and then i think i'm going the right way yeah so you do something like that all right and if you wanted to keep that dark but like i said for this i don't want to do that i like the look of this you know and if you just wanted to add some texture or something like that you could but that's my thumbnail and so again you see in but if if you're comfortable if you are comfortable you know inside of photoshop or something like that you see how that would go all right all right so you've gotten a chance to see exactly what this looks like when i'm designing my thumbnails in photoshop all right i'm going to make another video to show you how i can actually do the same thing inside of canva i don't necessarily want to do that in this video i want to do it in an entirely different video because this was a lot longer than i wanted it to be so we're going to break this up do it in canva all right so all of my photoshop people you guys have you, you kind of have an idea of what's going on here and if you want to talk more about it we can talk more about some of the techniques and things, you know, because granted, a lot of the techniques I use are just to get the job done. I'm, I'm not really into all do it this way, do it that way, do it whatever way works for you and helps you get it done quicker. Right. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got some value out of that. Remember, you can always like the video. Definitely. I want you to engage, drop a comment. But most importantly, hit that subscribe button. And while you're hitting that subscribe button, click that bell notification so you can be informed every single time I post new content to the channel. See you guys in the next video.